Let's talk about this draft. The draft is back and better than ever. Here is the list of, this is the, the updated list as of today, Sunday. Tomorrow, obviously, we'll have some more names drafted to Raw. But here's the following superstars drafted to Raw. You got the Viking Raiders, Dexter Loomis, Candice LeRae, Maximum Male Models. I hate how they spell their names. This is too insane. There are symbols on letters that should not exist. Natalia, Apollo Cruz, Chelsea Green, and Sonia Deville, Zoe Stark, and JD McDonough. Uh, we also have uh, SmackDown only selections made on SmackDown. Uh, I don't know what this is. Okay, never mind. Raw, we got Cody, Becky, Imperium, which is Gunther, Ludwig, and Giovanni. Matt Riddle, Drew McIntyre, The Miz, Shinsuke Nakamura. Now, I like this. I like that Shinsuke is going to Raw. And I think that there's a lot of unique matches you can see. I really much want to see Shinsuke and, and Cody. That'd be an interesting match. Indy Hartwell, Apollo Crews, Candice LeRae, like I mentioned, Chelsea Green, Sonya Deville, Dexter Loomis, J.D. McDonough, and Natalia, Viking Raiders, Zoe Stark, Maximum Male Model, SmackDown. Got the Bloodline. But the Bloodline, Roman Reigns, Solo Sokoa, and Paul Heyman. The Usos are not here. Bianca Belair. So the Raw Women's Champion is now on SmackDown. The Street Profits, Montez Ford and Angela Dawkins. I, I was, I very much want Montez to have a great singles run in this company. He's very talented. He has great, uh, I mean, great media presence. Those are key words that I've heard about him. Uh, I, I, I do think that he'll have a nice singles run in the in leading after their split split with uh, Angela Dawkins. Not that I want to see them split, but I think Montez is going to have a really solid singles run. Edge. Goes to SmackDown. Bobby Lashley, the OC, AJ Styles, Luke Gallows, Carl Anderson, and Mia Yim. I have not seen any of these people on TV. Obviously, AJ's hurt. I hope that they do something here because, you know, the OC and Cody, uh, they're different brands, but the OC and, and uh, you know, you have them, you have Judgment Day, you got Cody, there's a Bullet Club thing. There's, there's just something you could do here. Damage Control, Bailey, EO, and Dakota. A lot of rumors about Bailey uh, leaving Damage Control. Alba Fire, Hit Row, and Lacey Evans. Did I miss anybody there, Matt, my producer? I think you got them all. Um, I think I got them one, all. Maybe, maybe yeah, one there's I one missed. thing on the... Uh, so on the AJ Styles uh, coming over, it was kind of a surprise, but I do think that um, he's he's a fresh competitor or a fresh challenger for Roman. So in that regard, that's a good that's a good a good call. And Bobby Lashley. So. Well, I'm looking at this right. Like uh, you know, you got Bobby Lashley, you got Edge, you got AJ right now that I could see here on the SmackDown side. Yep. Obviously, there's going to be more drawings, right? We're going to find out more people going where. But, you know, they, they do need to freshen it up a little bit. And I and I don't think this is a hard split. I know that the term hard split, soft split, I've, I've interjected in the world of professional wrestling. And my, I apologize for this because it's everywhere now. Uh, I don't think this is a hard split. Obviously, we know how WWE does this draft. We know how long things stay the same. There will be crossovers. There will be champions going places. You know, you got you got one set of women's ch tag team championships. You got two sets of the men's, but it's unified. So well, they did something weird. Yeah, they did something me. weird um, on the Saturday show uh, yesterday. They made four free agents. So they have Omas, um, Dolph Ziggler, and um, Mustafa Ali, and I think one more person, and I'm it's escaping me that were left as free agents. So I'm assuming if you need help on one show or another, they, they'll just plug them in and yeah. they can be fodder for a feud or something. I don't know. And I, yeah, I expect the what... same with, I expect the same with people like Brock Lesnar, or if there's a very important feud that you want to put together, yeah. you can, you know, the, these things aren't set in stone. And I, and I expect the same from, from AEW, which we'll talk about in the next segment. There's a lot of AEW news. Uh, I, I, okay, fine. You know, this is the draft. This is what they do. I, I don't dislike it, but, uh, I, I, 
do you, I feel like maybe it's a momentum shift a little bit. You know, it may slow down the momentum here. I thought they did a very good display of how they did it on SmackDown. I did like I did like RVD coming out with Michael Hayes, which is such an odd couple. And Van Dam had the draft card upside down. It was all <laughs> over the internet. I thought that was fantastic. Planned or not planned, I think that's great. Uh, but you know, this is this is this is what they're doing now. This is uh, this is the draft. 